Now, as we come to the end of 2025 and head into 2026, if you're on biologics for Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, uh, this is actually very good news because treatment today is really far more precise than it used to be. I've been looking after patients with uh, IBD and gut health problems for over 25 years, and this evolution in how we use biologics is one of the most positive changes I've seen. Five years ago, if you felt better, less pain, fewer bowel motions, less urgency, we just assumed your biologics was doing its job. What we've learned since then has helped us do things even better. We now know uh, that some people feel well, even when inflammation continues, and that about one in third uh, of people may lose response to the biologics over time. The important part is this. We can often see these changes early and act on them long before you feel unwell. And that's why as we move into 2026, biologics have managed much more proactively. For some biologics, especially things like anti-TNF treatments, we can measure your drug levels, check your antibodies. And for the newer biologics, oral treatments, the monitoring is a little different. It's focused on inflammatory markers, trends over time to get better long-term disease control. The goal now isn't just symptom relief. The goal is actually deep remission where you feel well and your inflammation is better controlled. So your treatment lasts longer and flares are prevented rather than just treated.